What is up guys, this is Scott. I'm going to be starting a new series. Um, it's going to be Gold Rush. This is actually the first episode, and yes, I know, I already got everything set up. I did not want to have to sit here and wait until I can get all my stuff set up. I wanted to go ahead and get this set up so that we can start right away and get mining. So right now, all I, I already have my pumps. I already got my generator. I already got my wash plant and everything set up. I'm not using the regular shaker. I'm actually using the D-Rocker. Um, today, uh, I've actually got all of that right there, all that stuff there, it is completely flat, so it's going to make it a lot easier when I'm using the excavator to be able to dig down and pull the dirt out and load it in them trucks. Um, right now I got two 400s, there's one there, there's one there, and then I got the 270, the 270 is just for the little mobile wash plant whenever I'm doing testing. And then I got two dump trucks. That's all I'm using. And actually, I think the dozer is around here too. Yeah, the dozer's up there. I'm gonna go bring it down real quick. So if I need it. But other than that, it's all I'm using right now. So. Um, and then of course we got the little pickup truck that they give you. But other than that, we're gonna fill this cart up real quick. So I have. My tank is full in that. Oh, by the way, guys, I am actually planning on building a new PC. Let me know in the comments if you guys if you guys want to have another video of me building a PC. I know the one before was is really really long. Uh, this time I'm gonna try and make it not nearly as boring. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to make it as nearly as boring as the other one was. So, that's my plan. If you guys want that to see that again, then let me know. Um, I'm planning on completely redoing my system. I don't know if I'm going to use the same case or not. But I am planning on redoing my entire system. I mean, I'm going to be putting an uh, i7-8700K Coffee Lake processor in. 8700K. Uh... I'm going to be putting one of them in. I'm also going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to be, I'm planning on changing my case, but I don't know for sure yet. Uh, going to get, uh, probably, I'm looking at an H150i cooler. It's a 360 degree rad just, just for your CPU. And then I'm looking at a, uh, uh, possibly an EVGA hybrid graphics card. So basically my, Basically, all the main parts of this build are gonna be gra are gonna be water cooled, meaning the graphics card and the CPU. Uh, that's all it's gonna be. Gra that's all it's gonna be cooled water wise. Um, I'm actually I've actually was I was looking at a video from J2 Sense the other day, and uh, I didn't know they made kits for water cooling. So I don't know. I might just do a custom loop. I don't think I will, but if I do that one I don't know if I'm gonna record or not I might I don't know but let's get started real quick um, we're on a, I'm not gonna start that stuff up yet uh, this shouldn't take too long and then I gotta clean these mats out so the mats are gonna take forever cuz as you can see I got two jigs and I got all my mats and they are all at basically almost 90 percent so Shouldn't take too long to get them filled up. It should only take maybe a couple truckloads. Um, so right now we're start our pumps up, get the water flowing. That 400 there is just an extra right now. I I don't remember if they have the if they started doing the breakdowns on this game yet. So when, once the break if I do start breaking down and stuff, then I got all my stuff backed up. So that's my goal. We're going to turn on power splitter, trommel, de-rocker, conveyor, conveyor with container. So now, all the equipment's running. Jump in the dump truck. And we'll start running us some dirt. We should do pretty good with this. Um, we've been getting pretty decent gold out of this. We started out at 25 ounces uh, two days ago. So... So, I mean, so far we're doing pretty good. We're already almost 100 ounces, so. 
this land here is doing very, very good, surprisingly. So, and we're only going to use one truck because we're really, really close to the dig site. And because I'm only one person, so. I'm just going to back this truck down in here. It's kind of a steep spot to back a truck down into, but I'm hoping once we get further down and further back into the cut that it'll start to flatten out and we won't have to do this as much. That's what I'm hoping, but I don't know. So right now we're going to start put loading this truck up. Um, we're going to start getting this truck loaded up. And no, I am not. I mean, you can hear it. I mean, you can you can hear the clicking. Um, right now, all we're doing now, I'm just using a keyboard to play this game. I don't have a controller right now. Um, otherwise, I'd be using a controller because it'd be a lot easier. And you know, I really don't know why I just did that because I was going to use that for the backup area for the trucks. Dang it. I forgot. Well, I'm going to take this truck and dump that load right there so that I can bring the dozer back down and flatten that spot out so I can use that for the trucks again. That way I can just back the truck straight back into that. That's my fault. I didn't think about it. Yeah, so. Run up here, grab this dozer real quick. Got that other truck, it's full. We'll probably, once we get this flattened out a little bit, we'll probably move the. There we go. So let's go ahead and move down here. We'll get this flattened out so that I can use just back the truck right up in there and make it a lot easier on myself. Hopefully. I'm on back up. There we go. Matt made it a lot better. I could probably deal with that with the trucks. I just want to be able to back them right in there and just load them up like that. It'll make it a lot easier for me. That way too, I could just keep digging back and all I gotta do is use a dozer or something and just move that shit back. That's all I gotta do. Trying to make this as easy as possible on myself. Yeah, obviously, I mean, all this is flattened out, so all I gotta do is keep going back, and as I dig down real deep, it'll pretty much just go to the same depth almost every time. And actually, this is. I actually have it down a little bit lower than I did before. So that makes it nice. Now I can I can actually reach a lot further down. Now I'm hoping I don't have to go any deeper. The best part about this game is when uh, you've actually ran a uh, one of these machines before. It's what makes it even better. So it's actually really, really. I mean, it's not like super fun, but I mean, it's nice when you've actually ran one before. 
so you 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 know you kind of you know a little bit more than the average person on these machines. I've never went gold mining, but that's one thing that's on my on my list. I'd love to go gold mining one of these days just to see how it is. keep knocking at this side over here basically what I'm doing with this side is I'm just going in I'm going to have to move back here in a little bit basically what I'm doing is basically from right about there actually I can shave out a little bit of that Basically what I can do with this is I can go in, I'm trying to get as wide as I can with this so that I don't have to, then when I move over all I gotta do is get that one side, that little spot is my plan. So, and as you can see the truck's at 100% now, so. We'll just get this bucket like that jump into the cab as you can see my other 400 is just sitting the 270 is sitting right there um, the mobile wash plant's actually on that re far, far side, like right over in there or somewhere. It's actually where it's at. Uh, I just have it sitting over there right now, so I'm not using it. Um, but here in a little bit, we might go over there. I'm not planning on really playing very long, so. But, I don't know, we may never know. You guys know how I am sometimes. I end up playing longer than I think I'm going to. But right now we're at 3.39 ounce gold nugget. Sweet. So right now we're we're gonna load this other sec. We're gonna load this. This is actually gonna be the second truckload that I've done today. So which is gonna make it really really nice. Things already at 11%. So hopefully we won't have to do very much. But, I mean, right now we're, I think we're doing decent, I mean, I mean, we got pretty good bit of equipment that we can utilize. Probably what we'll do is we'll get just about to about here. I'll probably start digging a little trench right there so that I know. And then we'll probably start to move back. Plan is is to keep this part how it is. I'd like to keep that 
going all the way back to back here at that uh, that little ledge back here is what I'd like to keep that at keep that grade going that way it goes all the way back back in there and then I could just keep going straight back and then once I get back here then I can take my machine and I can move it all the way over here like where I can't reach because right there is about where I can only reach it so that'll make it really really nice once I get over to that spot because this will all be dug out I mean it's going to take me a while to get get all this dug out but it'll make it nice once I actually get this get a lot of this dug out so I don't have to deal with it Okay, that truck's full. We're gonna get this up and get another bucket here. That way, when we get back, all we gotta do is dump it right in. Like so. Run over, jump back into the truck. Well, looks like we're going to have to shut the plant down. Our, our mats are at 100%. So, we're going to shut the plant and the hoe down. So we'll get this stuff shut down. Shut down my pump. Come down here, shut down this other one. Yeah, see all the mats are at 100%. So. Which really works out. So now we'll get to see how much gold we actually got. So this might actually be a pretty good clean out. We'll just use the buckets from the jig. This one here is, th those one, that one there is, is from the small wash plant. So I don't know how much gold will I, how much money will I actually get off of this, but I don't know. This one here might actually do pretty good. I mean we've got a lot of gold just from this. So might end up doing pretty good. Yeah, and then we'll get these buckets all washed out, and then we'll take the pickup truck down there and get all the mats out. Just got to run over here, turn this pump back on. Because we got 
had to turn that pump on to be able to run the wave table because this pump has the main hose going to there, going into the D rocker for the main wash plant, main wash plant, and then we have a small little one going that way. So we have to do that. Then we have to come over here and turn on the wave table. Yeah, now we do that. Wait for that to get done. We should do pretty good. I would think. We're at uh, over a hundred. Happy about that. Why well, have to go get another wave table? I wish they made like a Y, where you can Y it off and like shut a valve off. Very good. I'm actually kind of impressed with this. We're actually really doing good with this. Alrighty. Well, what all's in the back here? This. And there should be another section of hose, which there is. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to run another line. I don't, I don't know how many lines, how many pieces of ho links of hose I'm going to need, but. I'm hoping just this one, then I could just run one pump. That's what I'd like to do is just run one pump, that way I'm not using too much gas for this. Yeah, see, I'm gonna need, I think I'm gonna need a couple sections. There it is. You can see we're going to have to get a couple more. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take that one, wind it all the way up, and we're going to have to hook it onto that and see how far we get, because I think I might have another, another, I think I might have another add-on, but it's over there at the little wash plant, so I mean I'm going to be using my little wash plant stuff. Yeah, we're... I think we're gonna need another two sections or so, so we'll just take the pickup truck over there.
Yeah, we got two more sections right here, so that'll work out good for us. Got generator too, but I don't want a generator. I don't need a generator right now. Crap. Come on, we gotta line this all up. <sighs> yep, so my plan is right now we're we're gonna get that all cleaned up and we'll find out what we got. And then uh I might end the episode there and hopefully we'll have another episode later on. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, we should be good with this. With these two sections and then that, that there, it should be good. I would think. Just barely. Hell, I'll just move this over. Just like that. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Now the fun part. Getting all of that. And mats and everything out of there. perforated steel off so that we can even get to this stuff. That worked really well like that. I like that. Where'd that roll go? Just disappeared. That is all of our gold mats. Our mats with gold in them. So I'm pretty 
pretty sure that other one's back here somewhere. I wish you can pick up more than one item. Yep, see, found it. Okay, we're gonna run up, run up to the little tent thing. Grab, the, grab that big, uh, like pail bucket thing. Get it full of water. This. Get this full of water. Get this thing filled up with water. That way I can. Just use the. I think you can fill the buckets out of this. I'm open. Oh, you can't fill it up. That's stupid. Okay, let's run down here, turn this pump back on. Let's 
Turn the big generator on. So far we're doing pretty good, um, I suspect probably 135 ounces probably, of how much it's going up, 135, 140, somewhere around there. My guess is probably about 100. 35, somewhere around there, because this is our last two mats. If we even get that. I don't know, we're doing pretty good so far, so. See what it ends up being. Hundred and thirty five point seven seven five. That is pretty good. I am impressed with that. Very impressed, actually. It's actually a really good cleanup. So we'll get these mats back in and we'll get the perforated steel back in and but I'm gonna do that off camera so thanks for watching guys. Um plan on doing some more episodes of this later on. Um if you like this episode, like it. If you guys would please like it, comment, subscribe. Have a good day guys. See you guys on